What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I just finished watching episode 7 of The Boys. This is getting absolutely insane. This is getting absolutely insane. Butcher is on this rampage to get to Homelander and he doesn't, he, he's starting to, he seems like he's starting to go over the edge now, okay? But, <sighs> Homelander found out what was going on because Mesmerizer told him who they are in the last episode. So, now he brought everybody together for this little meeting, blaming everything on Starlight, uh, putting everybody on a spot, outing A-Train, letting him know that, oh yeah, we know that you ran through Huey's girlfriend type of thing. Meanwhile, he's like this close to probably killing Starlight before Maeve jumps in. Um, and now, like, Starlight knows all this stuff that Huey did not tell her after we saw them doing the do, and they looked like they were all, uh, you know, not lovey-dovey. But, um, yeah, so... Now she's like, she's completely like gone because she's just like, I can't believe this. So, um, in another twist, we find out a little more information about, uh, Butcher's wife. So it started out with them being at this Christmas party, right? And I guess this is when Homelander and Butcher and his wife kind of met because, she, his wife, actually worked for Vault in the marketing department. So this woman that they had um, mentioned before, uh, what is her name? Not Madeline. I forgot her name. But the lady who comes in to try to help Butcher, you know, eight years ago, um, something happened with her and her family. We don't know what it was yet. We don't know how that happened or what happened. We just saw the introduction to her and how she told Butcher that she was going to be there to help him figure this out. But anyway, so Homelander was like all head over heels about how great Butcher's wife was about doing her job and everything. So this lady comes in to Butcher's house after she goes disappearing and she shows him this footage. And it looks like she's walking into either an office or some type of apartment or something. And she goes in one way. And then the lady tells him she was there for three hours. She comes out looking completely disheveled. One shoe in her hand. She looks lost. Like, it looks like something happened to her. And of course, we found out that from what we heard, Homelander raped her but but we don't know at this point what what happened so anyway as the story is going along he goes to start questioning um madeline because he now notices or recognizes butch because he's watching butcher he's watching you know the screens and he sees the pictures and everything and something's kind of like clicking in his mind so now he's asking questions and he's going around trying to figure out what happened to his wife because she's apparently missing um so he goes and gets in uh he goes to this doctor's house who is apparently the doctor that raised him so we found out a little bit about how he was raised he was raised by doctors he was raised in a lab he wasn't raised with a family um like everybody else seems to be you know what i mean he was one of the ones that was raised and he made it a point to say when i you know raise babies without families they end up being bad and homelander he's just like oh, turned out just fine yeah right yeah right so here we learn within their little meeting that she butcher's wife was actually pregnant by homelander's was pregnant with Homelander's baby. And she ended up dying because of all the blood loss. Like, she, he, the doctor was like, the baby literally crawled out. Can you imagine that? Y'all have to go watch my reaction. And if you haven't seen this, you got to go watch it. Like, it looked absolutely gory. Like, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. 
But now he's pissed off because he didn't know anything. And she supposedly signed an NDA. She couldn't tell anybody, not even her husband. So this is why nobody knows what happened to her. But now we know. So anyway, um, they all end up getting burned. The whole team, Huey, Emin, Butcher, everybody. So now they got to get their families together. They're on, you know, they bring everybody together because they all, you know, got caught out. But Butcher calls, you know, the people at the CIA. They come and they rescue them and they take them, I guess, to safety because they're trying to take down Volt. So. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Let me go to another part before I get to this. So we see that the Deep is now in this new apartment in Ohio. It's almost like they sent them away to just kind of chill out for a minute. He apparently gets together with this girl who is infatuated or who is really like turned on by what he looks like underneath his suit. And it is not a good looking sight. And she actually got off. I'm just going to leave it right there. Y'all just going to have to watch. Of course, I don't have the content because it's going to get clean, but you guys need to go. I hope you guys watch with me so you guys can see my reaction to that part of this episode. Okay? And you'll understand what I'm talking about. That was nasty. It was absolutely nasty. Anyway, and then he goes to try to, he goes to the grocery store. He tries to save this lobster and he's like, oh, okay. And that doesn't go very well. Um, but anyway, so towards the end, they pretty much have everything they need except Homelander. Of course, they can't do anything with him, but they've got Madeline now in the office telling her that her company is shot to hell and all this other stuff. So then something happens where they call her back. The, um, uh, what is her name? The, the CIA lady. Um, so apparently they're looking at this it's not a bunker. I don't know if it's a jail. I don't know what it is. It's like this place, this little building or whatever. So they're going in there, shooting up the place. There's a guy that appears who apparently energizes and lights up in green and explodes. But then he's walking out like nothing happened. And apparently, I guess this is some type of like um, terrorist spot where they're trying to take him down. But this dude is apparently a terrorist soup. That is not good. That is so bad. <laughs> so bad. And she looks absolutely terrified as she is watching this video. So now, um, so Huey meets up with Starlight. They're trying to, uh, she's trying to understand what's happening. She doesn't believe it. She needs them to explain. Of course, as you can imagine, it doesn't go well. She you know threatens to take him to the authorities instead of Bolt taking care of him and then freaking Butcher comes out of nowhere and freaking shoots her but she doesn't look like she can die you know what I mean but Huey tells her about compound V so we don't know what she's gonna do with that information I personally feel kind of bad because she seems to be the only good one out of the whole crew and yet she had no she has no idea about compound v she she really believes that this is how she was born that god blessed her with this you know gift of being a superhero so we're going to have to figure out what happens in this last episode episode 8 but in the meantime leave your comments down below let me know if you guys enjoyed my thoughts and review please go over and watch my reaction to this um you know you'll see the little link you know, to go watch. And like I always say, I press play, you press play, we can watch it together. And that way you can see my reaction to the parts that you're watching. All right. But anyway, um, leave your comments down below. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!